Hi, welcome to my 2020 sunscreen product review. So I wanted to give you a quick overview of all of the sunscreen products that I have at the moment, which ones are my favorites, which ones I use most often, and which ones I kind of keep going back to year after year. I've got a few additions this year that I'm in love with, so I've sort of saved the best to last. There are also a few that I kind of am using because I want to finish the product, but I wouldn't necessarily buy it again. So here we go. First one is Sultan. It's just the Boots own brand sunscreen. So this is the face one. It's in their protect and moisturize range. Um, this is also 50 SPF. Just to give you guys a bit of background, I will usually only use SPF 30 every day on, on my skin, mostly around the face area, but it depends on obviously how much sun exposure I'm gonna have that day. I know a lot of people prefer really strong, like more 50 range. 30 is usually fine for me. I'll often use 50 on my body if I need it, um, but for an everyday sunscreen, I usually go for 30. So this is definitely the type that I go for if I know I'm gonna be in the sun for a long time. It's UVA, UVB, um, really high protection and moisturizing as well. It's got an anti-aging aspect to it. I don't really, I couldn't tell you how much that, you know, helps, but um, it's very easily absorbed considering it's quite a thick cream. So you can see here, it does leave a white sheen but not too much of one. It's got, when you get it out of the bottle, it's not bright white like some other ones are. And then you can see my hand is still quite shiny there, but it has sunk in quite well. I love this for if I'm going out um, all day or something like that, but it's not something that is that I would recommend for if you're about to put a lot of makeup on or if you just don't feel like you need that super high protection. It might be a little bit overkill. Um, next up, I'm gonna talk about Soleil. So that's the super drug equivalent of um, Sultan. Soleil, again, is UVA, UVB, um, very high coverage and also just a really low price point. It's um, an easy thing to buy if you're using quite a lot of sunscreen. Um, if you can see that, this is their face fluid, 50 plus again, um, very high protection, UVA, UVB, water resistant. I still, I don't know how much I trust the things that say water resistant, um, but this also says that it's mattifying. So I'll show you again here. It's quite a lot thicker than the previous one. And um, this one I'd say is even harder to sort of spread out and sink in. So I use this quite a lot, again, if I'm going out for the day, if I know I'm gonna be in the sun a lot, but I would say it's not an everyday one. Also compared to the Sultan one, this one smells really nice, which obviously means there's some chemicals in there making it smell nice, but it is it does have that kind of summer scent to it. And I also have their, um, their lip protection balm. This one's quite nice because it actually, it doesn't leave a white residue like the other, a lot of other, sunscreen lip products do and it has that same smell which is very tropical summery um, so this is a really helpful one this is just 30 SPF and it's really useful to have in my handbag um, but I would say I mostly use their 30 SPF body sunscreen um, this is advanced UVA UVB protection again water resistant eight hour hydration so I do find this is very hydrating um, but you do need to properly rub it in I mean it, it's gonna be very white on your skin especially when you've got white skin like me so um, it will have that kind of slightly annoying rubbing in for ages so the next up out of my sort of regular everyday sunscreens is Nivea um, I use these quite a lot. I've got the 50 spray and the 20 lotion. Um, the spray is also, it's a white lotion, so let me quickly show you. There, so um, it is still, I've been told to be a little bit careful about oil-based um, sunscreens that kind of just sink straight into your skin because they might not have as good protection as their advertising. So I always, when I'm getting, um, like standard sunscreens, I will usually get the cream versions. So I quite like the sprays that are cream because they're usually a lot more liquid um, and easier to spread around. This one is a lot more moisturizing and yeah, it says moisture lock, water resistant, immediate UVA, UVB protection. Another thing I would just highlight about Nivea is that 
their sunscreens nowadays are octinoxate and oxybenzone free, um, which are products that have been known to, they could potentially be harmful to humans, except that's not totally been proven, but they are definitely harmful to reefs and just aquatic life. So um, it's really, again, if you're keeping an eye out for that kind of thing, uh, Nivea is probably your first point of call, I would say. All right, so next up I have another, yes, liquid spray, but it is a cream liquid, like a milk, I suppose. That's probably the best way to frame it. Um, this is Malibu SPF 30. So something to bear in mind with this is they've recently recreated the formula before it kind of had quite bad ratings actually for the overall protection. It advertises as high protection, but I think when it was tested, I think um, it was actually Witch or something that tested it and the protection just was not as strong as they were advertising. So they've actually recreated the formula and it's much better now and it's got really good ratings for UVA, UVB overall sun protection. One easy trick to bear in mind when it comes to Malibu, especially this particular one, which is the lotion spray high protection. Um, if you look at the back, there's a little code at the bottom that starts with FM and then it's got three letters, uh, three numbers next to it. If it starts with FM, that means it's a new formula. So um, it means that it's overall just a safer product um, and a newer version of their formula. So keep an eye out for that. But overall, this one I love. I mean, it's got a really nice scent and it advertises as being um, uh, rich in quite a lot of vitamins. I'm not sure exactly what the details are on that, but it is super hydrating and it feels really nice on the skin. Definitely up for your body, not for your face. Um, I accidentally put this in my eyes once and my eyes, I was basically crying for the rest of the day. So there's a warning for you. Um, it does leave a really nice sort of shine on your skin. So um, bear that in mind if you don't like that. Uh, but it's it's quite a refreshing, easy to spread one that, um, that I actually use probably the most at the moment. It's just kind of the easiest one to have around. And then actually the next one, after telling you all about how I try to avoid oils, I have an oil. So this is the Clarins Sun Care Oil Spray. And the reason why I have this is because it's for hair protection as well. It's really nice for using when you're like sitting by the pool or by the beach and you just want that little bit of extra protection for your hair. So it advertises as body and hair. And I actually, for, for body, I wouldn't use it as only my only protection but it's got such a nice sheen to it and it has like an oily texture without feeling sticky so um, I love using this in the summer and you can see I mean I'm almost done with it I've used this a lot recently I think they've actually just started coming out with a new version I'm not sure if it's just rebranded or if it's a slightly different formula but I would say it's got quite a strong scent to it that I don't love to be honest, it's a bit chemically and um, it doesn't smell, you know, all the other ones smell like traditional sunscreen that make you think of summer, whereas this one definitely doesn't have that. It's like a, yeah, a bit of a chemically perfume. So that's definitely a negative, but um, it's a really soft, really um, luxurious feeling using this. So if you're looking for something a little bit fancier, um, I would consider maybe putting some more SPF underneath, like a cream-based one, but this is a really nice kind of sheen, luxurious, kind of fun thing to use as well. So the last two products I've actually spoken about before in product reviews because I really, really love them. And these are both invisible fluids. So they're like a milky fluid, really, really thin, a bit more like the spray versions that I was talking about earlier, but these are for face. The first one I'm gonna talk about is actually what I'm wearing today. It's the La Roche-Posay Anthelius 30 SPF. So this is part of their Anthelius range. It's one of the newest ones that they've come out with. So they are constantly looking into how to um, make their formula even better. So I think this is a newer formula that they've put together to keep it really thin without being too shiny on your face, but also a really high spectrum coverage, lots of different ingredients that work together to kind of make it a strong, really long lasting sunscreen without it affecting any makeup you're putting on top or making your skin feel funny. So it doesn't flake, it doesn't shine too much, it doesn't, it spreads really well. Um, it does have alcohol in it, but 
saying that, the alcohol I think is more to sort of stabilize all of the ingredients and it doesn't have that kind of traditional drying effect that alcohol products can have. I think that's kind of why you have to, they have that shaking thing because all of the different ingredients, it does kind of separate a little bit. It took me ages to figure that out because I was so confused by the whole shaking thing, but it does kind of mix it all together and make sure that the, t the texture and the level of protection is even across the entire product. So um, this is my everyday under makeup skincare at the moment and something that I would hands down recommend. It's a little bit more expensive than the, um, than the other face products that I've been talking about. Um, this, the price point is closer to, I think 15 pounds or something, but it does last quite a long time. It spreads quite a lot, so you only need a thin amount. So it sinks in super fast and works as like, I often use it as a bit of a primer um, just on top of my regular moisturizer and then put my makeup on top of that and it, you can see the sheen here but I think that's because I've got about 37 layers of sunscreen on at the moment so it does sink in really really well. I've got it on my face right now and the sheen you're seeing on my face is more highlighter than anything else so um, yeah, definitely one to recommend. So the last one I wanted to talk about is a much more luxurious one. It's from Declayor, which is a French skincare company. I think it's owned by L'Oreal. And um, the whole point of this French skincare company is very much about uh, adding essential oils and really luxurious oils to their products to kind of have almost like a herbal, almost homeopathic sort of vibe to it. So this one is their uh, UVB UVA 30 SPF. Um, and it's with aloe vera and um, it doesn't say it here, but it has sesame oil. Oh yes, it does. It has sesame oil in it as well. And so it mixes the kind of soothing aloe vera with a very hydrating sesame oil into this product so that on top of the high spectrum protection, you've also got this really hydrating lotion that will keep you from, from peeling or from getting like drier skin while you're in the sun. This one I don't use as an everyday product because it just has a bit of a higher price point so I'm a little bit more careful with using this but saying that if I'm going out for the day and I don't think I'm gonna have that much sun but I just need a little bit more protection this is definitely going on under my makeup. It's sort of a luxurious version of the La Roche-Posay one so I don't know if it's rude to say that but, but this one's just very fresh and very soothing and has just as strong an SPF protection so really good product. If you're looking for something just a little bit more hydrating and soothing for your skin, definitely try Declayor. They've got a, a range, a new range actually, of their sunscreens and they're all amazing. So I will try to show you on my super sunscreen hand. It's the exact same sort of texture as the La Roche-Posay one. It's got a lovely smell to it, but nothing too strong. It doesn't like have a very perfumed smell. It's not like a really intense sort of summer smell like the ones I was talking about before. It's just a really luxurious product. It feels so soft on your skin and uh, works really well with foundation on top of it. So um, this is probably my favorite sunscreen at the moment, even though I'm not really using it every day. It's definitely something I'll repurchase and I'm already looking forward to trying more in the range. So um, yeah, if you want to know my number one sunscreen, this is it. Okay, there you go. Those are my favorite sunscreens at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down below and please do like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm really kind of focusing on regrowing my YouTube channel at the moment. So I'd really appreciate a subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.